Robin Williams is roaring onto Broadway as a caged tiger in the new play, Bengal Tiger at the Baghdad Zoo. Today we're talking with the popular funny man and his co-stars about this intriguing dark comedy. For audiences who might not know too much about the show, can you give us just a brief kind of storyline summary? This would be like attempting to explain Angels in America. I think it's nearly impossible because it encompasses so much. Uh, it starts off with the, the quick version is it's a story of the two American soldiers that were guarding a Bengal tiger in 2003. And uh, one of them goes to feed the tiger, bites his hand off. The other one uh, who I play shoots the tiger to death. And then the tiger becomes a ghost and steps out of the cage. And from there, it becomes a ghost story. So that's why it's hard to describe it as a war play. It's more of a meditation on war and a ghost story. So can you tell us, what made you want to come to Broadway to do this show? I read this play and went, oh, damn, man, this is powerful stuff. It's a drama with moments of dark comedy, but basically a really deep drama that, I, that talks about what we've been through in Iraq, Afghanistan, everything. And I, it hit me hard, and I went, if I'm going to come back or go on Broadway, this is one to try with. Most of the, you know, information that we have about the Iraq war is either through, you know, kind of realistic movies or the news. And this provides a totally fragmented and um, an abstract vision of that time. This is something really, for me, if, if I can be the one that goes, Psst, come. If I can pimp this, check it out, yo. This is not a drill. And the idea, I can't riff in this. This thing is so well written that it's just precise, like music. But yet, it works. I mean, I'm just, it's, it's, it's brutal and horrifying at some points, and in other moments, quite beautiful. You got Robin Williams in your cast. How's it working with the master of comedy? It's, I don't think, nobody leaves the rehearsal space, because watching him work is, I've never seen anything like it. People, you know, people, uh, I think he's a comedian, but they forget he was a Juilliard trained actor. They forget that he, I think, originally came from theater. And the way he works and how hard he works to see everything behind the scenes is unbelievable. He surprises me every time we get up there. And you never know where he's going to go. So you have to be prepared. And he's, he's, he's an improviser in terms, of, um, in terms of how he works. It's a place he, he sort of comes from. And so he, so, I mean, he's saying the text, but you never know what he's going to actually do or how he's going to say it or if he's going to... You know, you never know where he's going to go. So He also has a, 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 an incredible understanding of what's happening in Iraq right now because he has been there, you know, entertaining the troops. So he's been there several times. He's been in Afghanistan. He's met many of the soldiers that are either there or have returned. And, uh, you know, those are the, the lead characters in our play. So there's a way in which he understands the subject matter of the play in a very visceral way because he's been there. So you're playing an animal. Can you tell us, what's the key to finding your inner tiger? Are you being method about this? Starting to be. My girlfriend has an Asian water cat, and I watch him, and he just looks at me like, what? They just look a lot. They just, like, in, like in the script, he basically sits there going, you know, I ate those kids. I wasn't cruel. They were lunch. You know, the idea of, you know, for him, it's a pretty simple life. He said, there's no concept of heaven and hell. It's just hungry, not hungry. When you look at cats, they always look at you like... They don't even do the dog thing of like... They're like, I don't care. Why is it important audiences come see a show like this? You know, I think it's, it's a show that... Uh, I don't think anything like this has ever been done before, personally, from what I've read and from what I've seen. Um, and uh, I just think you're right. It deals with so many different things. It deals with uh, a war and religion, uh, existentialism, greed, power. Uh, everything. I think the questions, the, the philosophical questions um, and, the, and the moral questions that the play proposes are ones that we have a responsibility to confront and so the play kind of just like puts them into your face and so I think that people should come, you know, for that and also because it's a great piece of theater and it has some amazing comedic moments and you know it's a wild ride. They're gonna kind of be blown away, it's a surprising play. Every scene has a gigantic turn, you know, uh, good guys turn bad, bad guys turn good, you know, it's, and it's funny. People will laugh. And now with Robin, they're definitely going to laugh. So you joked in some of your stand-ups about having to shave yourself for some of your other roles. You don't have to do it. For go, this one just get furry. You know, let it go. I'm amazed at Silverback in the San Diego Zoo. Might have been another play, but it's like, no, that's why this. It's like, and more. The more you go, I go, fine. You go, do I have to shave? No. Because one time I had to do a, a movie and they had to wax me and they had girls and they had two girls waxing me and at one point they said, "Do you mind if we take a break?" So it was like, "No, for this furry, totally furry, happy to be that way."